take off. Thrust set. Thrust set. Oh. Wow. Because the climb, get up. Do you actually set the thrust manually, yeah, to climb? Yeah. Fine. How much is the climb? We'll do all the thrust on. Okay, so I just leave it. Yeah, you can leave it. Okay, flap. Flap one. What's the climb? So. Heading left, please, uh, downwind, uh, 270, there we So the autopilot is not on, and I'm flying it manually, yeah? Yes. And uh, flight director is coming on. It's so different. Really. Plane, yeah. <laughs> and obviously, just the auto thrust is engaged. The rest is manual flight. Yeah. That's correct. Okay, so let's climb up to 2,000 feet in that case. Yeah. Yes. Wow, so basically, you'll be looking about 10 degrees nose up, eh? Yeah. So I'll climb it back to 3,000 feet, 2,000 feet. I can't see even see the runway. You tell me when it's 10 miles, yeah? Both hands to control the plane. Yeah, that's what I'm not used to. You advise me when it's 10 miles, yeah? After takeoff checks, please. Okay, QNH, we'll leave it on QNH. Yeah, we had intention to find at 3,000. Sorry? Okay, set 2,000 feet. Just set 2,000. We don't need it, just a circuit, so. Okay. Ah, now we've got the flight director back, okay. That was actually disappeared, really, somewhere there. Go on. So, um, let's. Do we have to put any speeds for the landing or? No, I don't know. I believe it's not necessary. No speeds for the landing. So, how about approach checks then? About what? Approach checks. Do approach checks in there? Yeah, there is pressurization, recall, auto brake, landing data, and approach briefing. Okay, approach brief. We're just doing how, how many miles you've got in there now? Right now, we can have seven miles. Seven miles, so we'll just turn left very shortly, yeah? Yeah. Well, I can see the runway. The, uh, well, I can't see the runway. Now, how can I increase the range here? Increase over here. All right, approach checks. All right, about 10 miles now? Nine and a half. Nine and a half, well, that's a bit slow, eh? There is a... Yes, a I see. There you go, thank you. So that's my glide slope there, that's my localizer. It's tuned for this ILS, yes, yeah? That's cool, I don't have to enter anything in here, do you? No. Or you can do that if you have to, yeah? You can do a left turn. Cool, okay, no. so left turn inbound, please. And uh, do you have to arm the approach? Yes, I did. Approach is armed. 
Thanks. I can't see the runway, it's all there. View our lock capture, there we go. That's a damn bound course. I think we've gone through it for a little while there. Yeah. All right, so flap, uh, what's the flap limiting speed? Or do you activate the approach or anything? I did activate the Okay, in that case, can I have flap one? Or the first stage of flap? Yeah, maybe reduce the speed. Yeah, reduce speed, please. Ah, oh, you have to do that manually, do you? Yeah. What does that mean? It down. Gear down? Yeah. Wow. As we fly, fly it low. Oh, all right. Yeah, and auto thrust is connected. Oh, look, oh, they're, they're moving. <laughs> it's all the problem. Yeah, it's auto thrust is moving. The authority of it is absolutely weird. Where's my, ah, oh, there's my runway. Yeah. I need a bit more to the left. Okay, flap uh, two, or like second stage of flap. Okay. Here's my runway. Okay, next flap setting, speed check. Light slope. I have two runways in there. We would have to go on the right. Zero eight right. So that one there? Yes. But the... Oh follow yeah. ILS. Yeah, okay. but it says like a bit weird. Huh? Okay. And final stage of flap? It's set. And landing checks. Landing. Engine start switch is continuous. Is it? Speed on. Speed brake on. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Flaps. Green light. Yeah. Okay. Secured. Secured. Sit. On speed. Minimum is on this ILS is what? 200 feet. 200 feet. Decision height 200, that's the one. All right, that's radio. Okay. Well, you get pull out like minimums and 200. Okay. Do I have to disconnect the auto thrust or anything? Or it's is it just, landing. all right, just retard it and that's it, yeah? Yes. But there will be no call out like that. Okay, out. yeah, that's all right, I understand. But I'll have a radio altimeter uh, call out? Yes, you will, at oh. 200 feet. Okay, only 200, yeah? Yes. Well, you'll get later at 50, 100. Okay, we're clear to land? Is uh, he clear to land? Okay, and wind direction, slightly minimum, from minimum. The, continue, three, that's two reds, two whites, slightly, 100, 50, 30, okay. 
There's no auto braking, yeah? No. Well, I didn't say auto braking. Speed. Well, okay, how do you taxi it? With that? Oh, yes. Okay. Ooh. Sorry. Brakes are very sensitive. It's very weird this. But it's actually so sensitive as in real aircraft. Oh yeah? Okay. I got advice from technical maintenance of actual aircrafts. Oh that is very very weird. That is very weird. There we go. <laughs> it's really weird. Okay. So, uh, spoiler disarm after landing checks. After landing, just to shut down. Okay, this is a runway, no it's not. So, lights off please. This is a runway here? Yes. Okay, oh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna turn left here, okay. Clear on the left. And I'm going to turn right here. After landing chest complete? After landing checks? It's shut down check. Oh, shut down check is nice, okay. There's no not landing check. All right, okay then. So I'll just pick up any stand in here. Yes. Oh my God, speed, maybe 144 right. That's correct. Taxi light off, please. Yeah, I think I'll go on this 143 there, it's a lot better. Okay. Could get some trouble bus. Shut it down. <laughs> All right. You have control. <laughs> Ground power, please. Okay. Well, ground power. Good to be. Off. Control panel set. Set. Flaps up. It's up. Plug and brake. Do that. Engine balance. Good off. Okay. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. My God, it's so ancient. APU and ground power. We'll take it later. All right, thank you very much. It's been thank a you. pleasure flying with you today. It was. <laughs> absolutely amazing experience. Oh, the Airbus is obviously compared to this because this is really a very old technology and I'm sure that the new Boeings are a bit different and very very close to the same philosophy of Airbus but comparing this particular one to the Airbus the Airbus is a lot 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 easier to understand and fly also you have to give the credit that I know the Airbus and I don't know the 737 so it was very hard yes because obviously I have no knowledge whatsoever of, uh, 
of the 7.3, but I do know the basic stuff, which is very common in everything. And that's what I actually reverted to and just operating down to the basics, down to the common procedures, the common things that we all do at the same places in the same, uh, you know, in, in any aircraft. So that's what I was using there, rather than specific uh, things that I wouldn't know because obviously the aircraft is completely different.